Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to it. Uh, I was just watching a video about Taylor, Hard Taylor Holder. Well, I'm still watching it at 7 on pause, but uh. Probably gonna get, people are not gonna like that I'm siding with Taylor Holder during this whole situation, but I'm siding with Taylor Holder. Number one. Here's my thing about it. I think the person who was essayed by Taylor Holder, if this really did happen, I'm pretty sure they would have come out because they would want people to believe, oh, Taylor Holder really did do this. And they would want to save other people, other people from him essaying other people. That's my thing. And he put out a video not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, saying that he didn't do it. And that all this is not true. And everything in that video he said is facts. Like, people are... He's lost basically almost all his friends. I feel bad for the dude. His mental health must be in the gutter. Because people still don't believe that he didn't do it. Like, what's it going to take for people to believe that he didn't do shit? And apparently it's going to take... Like... A bunch of proof? Which, where is that going to come from? Like, these rumors just got started out of nowhere. Like, Keemstar posted something about it, and then next thing you know, for the next couple of, for the next, like, half a year, Taylor's been getting hate. I feel bad for the dude. I really do. Like, if this was me, and I, I get it, most people are like, if he didn't do it, the first thing he would have said on the podcast he went on the BFF's podcast the first thing he would have said was I didn't do it I understand that I don't know why he didn't nobody knows why he didn't except for him maybe he was trying to like still wrap his brain around these rumors that are coming out about him Maybe he's like, he was still in shock mode how this was because it's not true. So he's shocked by, like, I would be shocked if rumors that I essayed somebody came out and they weren't true. I would be so shocked because I'm like, whoa, how these rumors get started because I didn't do that. Like, I would be, my mental health would be in the gutter. I, I, I. I don't know, he probably knows, like, he probably should have gone on to, the, to that podcast until he thought about it, thought about what to say, but then he would have been staying silent for too long, and he basically did, because he didn't say shit on that podcast, until a couple of weeks ago. When y'all are seeing this, it's been a month or two since he put out that video. When I am filming this, it's been, like, a couple of weeks, maybe a month. I honestly like my blood boils every time somebody is like oh yeah he did do that and I'm like fixing to go through I'm fixing to do like a deep dive on the internet pull out find every piece of proof that proves that he didn't do it and there ain't not much proof that this is a thing Except for what people are saying. So that'll be hard for me to do a deep dive and do a video proving that he did not do it. Or proving that he did do it. Because if I did do a deep dive, I could find out, I could find the information that points to him doing it. And if he did do it, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be pretty sad because I've been supporting him the past half a year throughout this 
and he still got some followers. And bro, he's is is innocent until proven fucking guilty, and he hasn't been proven guilty. Like he had, he was like a gab gravel, however you call it, whatever you call it. Innocent to prove him fucking guilty. What happened to that being a fucking thing? People seem to ignore the fact that, oh, innocent to proving guilty is a fucking thing. And that it is true. You're innocent until somebody or a bunch of people can prove you guilty. Like, if Bryce Hall unfollowed him and really believes and all these people believe... To come out with all the information that you have that proves your that proves Taylor Holt Taylor Holder is guilty. Yes, I'm. I, I understand that I'm just trying to get yourself away from the situation. You see, my thing. It. My thing is, I feel bad, really, really bad. For Taylor Holder, I. Try not to cry. Because I know where my mental health would be if people were saying I did something like this and I didn't. Like, I do not take something like this lightly. Because somebody who used to be one of my friends did this to two kids. And they're in jail for it now. So, I do not take something like this lightly. So, you have to understand that. It's wildly bizarre for me to believe that he didn't do this when I lost a friend because he ended up being a predator, I guess you could say. A pedophile. I don't know what. Like. Yeah, I think I might do a video. I don't know. Don't, don't keep a lookout for that video because I could not end up not doing that video because it would take me like a good couple of days to research. And I never do research for a video. Ever. And if I was to do a video like that, I would have to make sure I do a really damn sort of good job on the editing of it. Sorry today's video is kind of short, I just wanted to come on here and talk about Taylor Holder. I know I've talked about him like once or twice on here, but I feel like I haven't talked about him that much. I just feel fucking bad for the dude if he didn't do it, really, really didn't do it. And I believe he didn't do it. Like, prove to me, pr like, bring me the evidence, the evidence that proves he did it, like, legal documents that say he did it. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I post a new video every other day at 2.15pm CST, Central Standard Time. I'll see y'all in the next video, but until then, peace.